I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. We're on to race number three, which is the start of the pick six. It's an MR86 handicap set to be run over the 1800 meter trip. 13.35 is the off time. And when having a look at the market, number three, Madison Valley, the real son of Mambo in Seattle, tops the boards at two to one. He has found a bit of uh, support from five to two into two to one. El Rey Vien, 28 to 10, straight up seven to one into five to one. It's in a six to one and better ball those. Now, when we have a look at um, race uh, number three, you've obviously got this three old, um, which is uh, Madison Valley. He ran a very good race last time out. He's, he seemed to be under pressure some way out, but um, he responded quite nicely. And uh, I thought he hit the line with a lot of intent. He now steps up in trip to 1800 meters from a three draw, 54 and a half cages on the back. But he does meet a very, very competitive field where you've got all the horses that are knocking on the door for another victory. And it's not going to be an easy task for him. He's obviously a horse that um, does seem to have his fair share of ability. But I think he's got his work cut out in this race despite 54 cages on the back. I think a horse like number one straight up who uh, had his comeback run last time out. He'll strip fitter for that uh, run. Draw one. Seanville knows him well. Four rides for two wins. I think that this horse, if he gets an, uh, the right run in transit, I think he could prove to be very, very effective. We've got the likes of um, Pirate Prince who last time out, he, he ran six. Out, I think that was just more so a common run than anything else. His last two starts haven't been the greatest of efforts, but he is down in class on, on current form from a two draw. He loves the poly track, and if he happens to bring that run to Royal Victory, that second to um, Adabar, he'd be a, a major contender here and at 16 to 1. I think he could be the value in the race here. Seven days, uh, seven day backup, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. And then you've got the two Hollywood horses, Ibuto, Al Revin, the three Hollywood horses, in fact, and uh, six Hotfix. So I think it's quite an open race, Dees. How do you see race number three? Are you in the camp of uh, the three old Madison Valley, or like me, you think it could be a, a lot more open? I've given uh, a place accumulator as a suggested bet, so I've gone numbers one, five, and six here. Uh, but if I had to tip them, I'll go one, five, six, and three in order of preference. Straight up, yeah, I'm a potty specialist, run of the race from draw one, and I think on that last start, uh, with Fine Admiral and Cyber Time coming through to enhance that form line, will be a massive contender. And great to see that the horse is still enjoying racing at seven years of age. Uh, that's my top choice. Uh, number five, Al Ray Vin from the Duncan Howell stable. Well, uh, when you try to assess, uh, you know, some of his better runs, you'll see that the ability is definitely there. You know, although he's making uh, the syndicate wait for that next career win, he never seems to run a bad race, this individual, and, and that will always keep you interested, that he always seems to be in the hunt. And Richard Faree up uh, has partnered him once before, which was some time back. In fact, in April 2023 was the last time Richard felt the source. So he's now a four-year-old. I'll give him a vote for the place accumulator. And then number six, African Das Whilst uh, it's clear to see that his favorite surface seems to be the turf ahead of the poly track. And Garth has kept him away from the poly, only having three runs. I don't see him far off them here. 1,400 to 2,000 meters suits him well. He's a versatile horse, number six, African Das. So I'm going to go one, five, and six. Uh, the comment that I'm going to give with Madison Valley, you know, who is currently the top one at the time of recording, is that if you believe that he is a higher than an 84, then you should go for him in all your bets because carrying 54 and a half kgs on his back against his older horses, I think gives him a nice chance to make his presence felt here because he may just be underrated on that post maiden run where he was running on and i say this because now he seems to be going over a distance that could even suit him better so once he goes 1800 1900 2000 meters then that rating could be much higher than this 84. so number three medicine valley we'll see how he goes against this type of field but i'm going to go one five six and three in order of preference the place accumulator i'll be hoping to double up here Ryle, with Numbers one, five, and six. Yeah, I think we, we can agree with number one uh, straight up here. That's going to be uh, both our top selections here. And then uh, f 
five, uh, six, uh, the horses that he's is including along with number three, Madison Valley. I think uh, number two, Pirate Prince, could certainly be worth an inclusion into a bet like the pick six. And if, if he were to arrive, well, then that would be a wonderful start to the pick six for you. But uh, race number three, number one, straight up, that is uh, the common uh, selection here from Deza and myself. And uh, you've got uh, quite a few other runners that you can include. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.